a note on Bible schools. Today there are many Bible schools in the world. You have the Oral Roberts University, more a seminary for the Word Faith Movement. You have those of a more reformed nature in a denomination with a different Bible school, with a different emphasis. So we find many different emphasis coming through in different Bible schools. But what I look at, if there's a person that that I look for leadership amongst the churches or somebody for with leadership that God's hand is upon, I do not look at whether he's been through Bible school or not. I look at something else. I look at this foundation and it's a very foundation that I'm bringing forth here in the, these next few weeks with the uh, experiencing the depths of Jesus Christ this foundation of being established in Jesus Christ this is more important than Bible schools often in a Bible school one has a knowledge of the word of scriptures of doctrine but that is not what God is seeking he's seeking a person that lives in him a person who walks with God as Enoch walked with God, as Elijah walked with God. And that is what he's looking for. And for leadership in churches and amongst the people of God, that is what one should be looking for, is being established in him, having this foundation in him of knowing God. This is more important than just being sound in doctrine. One needs to be established in Him. And I'm just bringing across that, that this is what I look for. I don't look for somebody that's knowledgeable, in the, even in doctrine and things. I'm looking for somebody that knows God. And one who has this foundation, it will impact your doctrine too. The, your doctrine will change. And it will be more of a different doctrine, more of knowing Him. And this is what God is looking for in these last days. He's looking for people that know Him. And as the, in the body of Christ, this is what we should be looking for. It's those that have this foundation, that those who know Him. And... I've noticed both Enoch and Elijah, they were caught up into heaven. It's very much similar with the rapture, with the Lord's coming for his people. And it's the people that knew him and who knew their God. That is the, the true bride of Christ. He's coming for those that know him. Enoch walked with God. And there came a day when he was caught up into heaven. He did not die, but he was caught up into heaven. And there's a generation today, a remnant, who will also be caught up, those who know him and who know their God. And this foundation that I'm bringing as I'm reading Jean Guyon's works, this is the way to know him and to have one, one's lamps burning and to have sufficient oil when he comes. If you walk this way and you're established in him, you'll truly be his bride. But there are many in the church today who do not have this walk with God. And really this is Laodicea, the lukewarm church. And what I see in the scriptures, that there will be those who are left behind and not all who profess to be Christians, not all, all who are churchgoers, are really his bride. And his people are those who know him, who live constantly in his presence. 
and this foundation is so important most people today most Christians are stumbling in the dark and what they hear being taught today is often not clarity is often not really what they need to hear you can bring forth from the scriptures this and that doctrine but that's not enough you need to have clarity with this foundation one needs to have a much uh, better understanding grasp of this and instead of um, going in circles and really taking the long route for 40 years wandering around the desert we need a direct approach and clear teaching and clarity with this foundation of how to be established in him how to live in him and that is what I'm bringing forth in this series on experiencing the depths of Jesus Christ by Guyon. It's of, of knowing him, knowing his presence and being sound in him. And if one grasps this foundation, it will have a tremendous impact on, on everything, your life, how you live, and even one's ministry. So it's just a nugget I'm sharing as we move on in the chapters of experiencing the depths of Jesus Christ. God bless.